Okay, so we already know something about the layout and the layers. Uh, let's uh, create uh, a little bit more uh, layers. Let's create uh, three of them. Uh, let's uh, uh, change their names uh, to the, um, uh, for example, basic. Uh, it zero nine. Call this uh, another one basic uh, twenty. It, it will help us to uh, make the drawing a little bit uh, more readable for um, for you and for the supervisor. Uh, then let's change the line weight. Remember that uh, whatever we are changing here, the line weights, uh, it's uh, also will be visible on the uh, print. So. Um, you can, uh, after all, overlap uh, this um, uh, this uh, features of the lines, but uh, the easiest way is to operate on the layers and by them control the line weight and the line type. Um, yeah, okay. Um, now we have uh, three layers. If you want to paint on uh, one of them, we just choose it. Uh, I am choosing the the thinnest one and uh, let's uh, talk a little bit about uh, drawing itself uh, for example uh, what is the difference uh, between line and line it's uh, very important when you are doing a cross section uh, first this is a line and this is a polyline uh, how to know what is what uh, try to uh, make a shortcut, uh, Control plus one, and then uh, the options of the objects has uh, turn on, has been turned on. And when I mark this one, we see that here it's polyline, and when I mark this, it's a line. And now, uh, why we are using a line and why we are using polyline? Uh, first of all, what's the difference? Uh, when I draw pretty similar long um, lines and uh, the same will do with the polyline or something similar. Uh, we see that uh, this one is not uh, connected if I, uh, with uh, the um, surrounder, uh, surrounded uh, with the neighbors but uh, with the polylines you always uh, in one row create um, connected uh, with each other's pole lines. So if I drag this, you see that it's uh, strictly connect. Uh, with this, I will just destroy. So I will. Now, uh, where uh, it's uh, in practice the most visible the difference between this, um, it's when we are doing a cross section. Uh, we are drawing a cross section and we need to add the hatch uh, for the cross section. Let's uh, make. Um, Let's make a cross section, for example, or trapezoidal, for example. And uh, when I'm using a polyline right now, you see that on the bottom there is uh, options uh, option to close uh, the the shape. And um, you see also that the C in the name close it's uh, turn uh, to a blue color. It means that uh, we can type uh, this uh, blue letter uh, by keyboard, uh, for example, C and click enter. And then uh, by that we are using the option. So we closed it. And right now we have the sureness of um, closing the geometry. So then when we go for the hatch, um, it's here. And uh, we want to create a hatch uh, on this shape. Uh, let's go. Um, what you see, it's done perfectly. Uh, I will just uh, change uh, the scale. Uh, and with a uh, line, if we want to do the same, uh, or something like that, then 
in the uh, during uh, the design uh, we can make a small um, mistake i will do it uh, not um, i will do it right now by purpose but uh, of course when we are doing more difficult shapes and we are in the uh, fast uh, mode of uh, creation then uh, the, the mistake like that uh, happened pretty often and then when we go to the hatch and we had to mark all of the lines to create it we see that uh, there is some bug here and this would not uh, this will not happen uh, if we are using uh, polyline and close uh, closing option of it uh, okay this is the difference between line and polyline and uh, why we have these two options I generally recommend you to use uh, polyline as much as possible but remember that polyline uh, can be drawn only on the x and y plane when a line can uh, work in uh, 3d there is the separate uh, option polyline uh, okay, thanks